A is for animal welfare and testing. It's an important issue for many ethical investors. Some ESG funds may avoid any exposure to animal testing for whatever reason, whereas others may invest in companies in limited circumstances, for example companies that have exposure to animal testing for medical purposes, so long as it's in line with legislation and meets the highest standards. A is for alignment. Private debt managers that want to achieve better ESG outcomes need to align their interests with multiple stakeholders, including sponsors, limited partners, and management teams of portfolio companies. One way to achieve alignment with portfolio companies is through sustainability-linked loans. These loans include ratchet mechanisms and clauses that allow borrowers to benefit from cheaper financing if they can achieve KPIs linked to ESG metrics. So by addressing ESG issues in your company strategy, you may benefit from cheaper loans. A is for audit and assurance. In the ESG context, audit and assuring involve assessing and verifying the accuracy and reliability of companies' ESG reports and disclosures. Independent auditors help ensure transparency, accountability, and the credibility of ESG information, giving investors and stakeholders confidence in the reported data. A is for air emissions and pollution. It is a significant environmental concern that affects our health and ecosystems. It refers to the release of harmful substances into the air, such as pollutants from industrial processes, vehicle emissions, and burning fossil fuels. Companies committed to ESG strive to minimize their air pollution by adopting cleaner technologies, reducing emissions, and promoting sustainable practices. B is for biodiversity, the variety of life forms on Earth and the ecological systems they inhabit. ESG-conscious companies recognize the importance of preserving biodiversity and aim to protect and restore it. They may implement strategies such as land conservation, sustainable sourcing, and responsible waste management to minimize their impact on ecosystems. B is for green bonds. These are financial instruments used to fund projects with environmental benefits. They enable investors to support initiatives like renewable energy, clean transportation, or sustainable infrastructure. By issuing green bonds, companies can attract capital specifically earmarked for environmentally friendly projects, contributing to the transition to a more sustainable economy. If your construction project isn't considered sustainable then it won't have access to these funding streams. C is for climate change, one of the most pressing global challenges we face today. ESG-driven organizations understand the urgent need to address climate change and its impacts. They set emission reduction targets, adopt renewable energy sources, improve energy efficiency, and develop climate resilient strategies to adapt to the changing environment. C is for carbon footprint. This is the total amount of greenhouse gas emissions, primarily carbon dioxide, released into the atmosphere as a result of human activities. Carbon footprints are calculated for various entities, such as individuals, organizations, products, or events, and serve as a measure of their contribution to climate change. Calculating and understanding carbon footprints is essential for assessing and managing the environmental impact of activities. By identifying emission sources and quantifying their impact, individuals and organizations can take steps to reduce their carbon footprints through energy efficiency, renewable energy adoption, sustainable transportation, waste reduction, and other mitigation measures. Measuring and reducing carbon footprints not only helps combat climate change but also offers economic and reputational benefits. It demonstrates a commitment to sustainability and can attract environmentally conscious customers, investors, and partners. C is for certification. Being able to prove products and services meet sustainability standards is highly important to meeting ESG requirements. C is for CDP, formerly known as the Carbon Disclosure Project. CDP is a global non-profit organization that encourages companies and cities to disclose their environmental impacts and take action to mitigate climate change. CDP collects and analyzes data related to carbon emissions, water usage, deforestation, and other environmental metrics, providing investors and stakeholders with valuable information for decision-making. 
C is for cultural heritage. It's an essential aspect of ESG, as it represents the social and human dimension of sustainability. Respecting and preserving cultural heritage is crucial for maintaining cultural diversity, promoting social cohesion, and fostering sustainable development. C is for Cicero Shades of Green, a rating system developed by Cicero, the Center for International Climate Research, to assess the environmental performance and climate risk management of various financial instruments. Cicero Shades of Green provides a classification system that helps investors and stakeholders identify and compare green and sustainable investment opportunities. C is for complaints. Complaint mechanisms play a vital role in ESG practices as they provide an avenue for individuals or groups to voice their concerns and seek resolution for issues related to environmental, social, or governance matters. C is for communities. Maintaining good community relations is a vital part of ESG. Construction companies that have good community relations perform better and suffer fewer delays than companies that don't. D is for diversity and inclusion. ESG focuses on promoting diversity, equality, and inclusion within companies and society. Diversity encompasses aspects such as gender, race, ethnicity, age, and more. ESG-driven organizations strive to create inclusive workplaces that embrace diversity, provide equal opportunities, and foster a culture of respect and belonging. D is for deforestation, the clearing, removal, or destruction of forests, primarily caused by human activities such as agriculture, logging, and infrastructure development. Deforestation is a pressing environmental issue with far-reaching consequences for biodiversity, climate change, and local communities. One of the UN Global Goals aims to implement sustainable management of forests and to halt forest loss. E is for emergency preparedness and environmental incidents. Being ready to deal with environmental incidents such as oil spills, chemical leaks, or natural disasters, and managing and reporting them when they do occur is fundamental to any good management strategy. E is for Ecovardis, a leading platform that provides sustainability ratings and assessments for companies. Ecovardis evaluates businesses based on their ESG performance, including environmental impact, labor practices, fair business ethics, and supply chain management. Companies can use Ecovardis ratings to benchmark their sustainability efforts and improve their overall ESG performance. F is for fossil fuels. These are a key contributor to the emission of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Credible ESG strategies will include plans to phase them out and transition to energy sources with less environmental impact. G is for greenwashing, a practice where companies make misleading or exaggerated claims about their environmental or social responsibility efforts. Greenwashing can mislead consumers and stakeholders, undermining genuine sustainability initiatives. It's essential for companies to be transparent and accountable to avoid greenwashing and ensure their ESG practices align with their claims. Legislation around the world increasingly prohibits false, misleading, overstated or unsubstantiated environmental advertising. G is for Greenhouse Gas Protocol, which is a widely recognized standard for measuring and managing greenhouse gas emissions. The Greenhouse Gas Protocol provides a framework for organizations to calculate and report their emissions, enabling consistent and comparable data across industries and geographies. G is for governance, a crucial aspect of ESG. Governance refers to the systems and processes by which companies are directed, controlled, and operated. Strong corporate governance ensures transparency, accountability, and ethical decision-making, which are vital for sustainable and responsible business practices. H is for horizon scanning, a strategic process that involves identifying and analyzing emerging trends, risks, and opportunities that may impact a company's long-term sustainability. Horizon scanning helps businesses stay ahead by anticipating future challenges and developing proactive strategies to address them effectively. I is for impact investing, an investment approach that aims to generate positive social or environmental impacts alongside financial returns. 
Impact investors consider the ESG performance of companies and actively seek investments that align with their values and contribute to sustainable development. J is for job creation, a vital component of sustainable development. Transitioning to a green economy and implementing ESG practices can lead to the creation of new jobs in sectors such as renewable energy, sustainable agriculture, and green technology, fostering economic growth and social well-being. K is for Key Performance Indicators, or KPIs, a crucial tool for organizations to assess and monitor their progress in achieving specific environmental, social, and governance goals. KPIs are measurable metrics that allow companies to track their performance, identify areas for improvement, and demonstrate their commitment to sustainability. Environmental KPIs may focus on metrics such as greenhouse gas emissions, energy consumption, water usage, waste generation, or the adoption of renewable energy sources. These indicators help organizations understand their environmental impact and track progress towards reducing their ecological footprint. Social KPIs cover a wide range of aspects, including employee diversity and inclusion, health and safety records, employee satisfaction, community engagement, and social impact initiatives. These metrics reflect an organization's commitment to fostering a positive social environment and contributing to the well-being of stakeholders. Governance KPIs evaluate the effectiveness of a company's governance practices and the alignment of its operations with ethical and responsible principles. Examples of governance KPIs include board composition, executive compensation, shareholder rights, and anti-corruption measures. L is for labor rights, which encompass the rights of workers, including fair wages, safe working conditions, the right to organize and collectively bargain, and freedom from discrimination. Respecting and promoting labor rights is essential for creating inclusive and sustainable workplaces. M is for materiality, a concept that focuses on identifying and prioritizing the most significant environmental, social, and governance issues for an organization. Materiality assessments help companies understand the issues that are most relevant to their operations and stakeholders, enabling them to prioritize their efforts and disclose relevant information. M is for measurement. There's an old maxim, you've got to be able to measure it to be able to manage it. Measuring the right things is crucial to implementing a good ESG strategy. N is for nature-based solutions, this leverages the power of nature to address environmental challenges, such as climate change, biodiversity loss, and water scarcity. These solutions involve the protection, restoration, and sustainable management of ecosystems to provide benefits for both people and the planet. N is for net zero. Put simply, net zero refers to the balance between the amount of greenhouse gas, GHG, that's produced and the amount that's removed from the atmosphere. It can be achieved through a combination of emission reduction and emission removal, for example by offsetting. O is for offsetting, a practice that involves compensating for greenhouse gas emissions or other environmental impacts, by investing in projects that reduce emissions, or remove carbon from the atmosphere. Offsetting is often used as part of a comprehensive carbon management strategy, to achieve carbon neutrality or net zero emissions. O is also for occupational health and safety, which refers to the policies, procedures, and practices aimed at ensuring the health, safety, and well-being of employees in the workplace. It involves identifying and mitigating workplace hazards, providing proper training, and promoting a culture of safety. P is for palm oil, a widely used vegetable oil that is found in numerous consumer products. The production of palm oil has raised concerns due to deforestation, habitat destruction, and human rights abuses. Sustainable sourcing and certification schemes have been developed to promote responsible palm oil production. P is also for the Paris Agreement, an international treaty aimed at combating climate change by limiting the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. The agreement sets out targets and obligations for countries to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, adapt to climate impacts, and provide financial and technological support to developing nations. Q is for questions, a crucial aspect of ESG. 
Asking questions and seeking information is essential for understanding a company's environmental, social, and governance practices. Investors, stakeholders, and consumers can use their inquiries to hold companies accountable and drive positive change. Q is for quality. A quality project means it's done right first time and waste is avoided. Providing a product or service to the desired quality will likely lead to improved customer satisfaction. R is for renewable energy, which involves energy generated from renewable sources such as solar, wind, hydro, and geothermal power. Renewable energy plays a vital role in reducing greenhouse gas emissions, diversifying energy sources, and promoting a sustainable and low-carbon future. R is for responsible sourcing. This is making sure the goods, materials, and services are bought in a manner that promotes sustainability, ethical considerations, and social responsibility throughout the supply chain. This can involve conducting due diligence to identify potential risks and impacts associated with the supply chain, including issues such as child labor, forced labor, environmental degradation, and unfair trade practices. It also involves engaging with suppliers, implementing standards and codes of conduct, and monitoring and auditing supplier practices to ensure compliance with responsible sourcing principles. Certifications and standards such as Fairtrade, Rainforest Alliance, and FSC help companies and consumers make informed choices and support products that align with their values. R is also for risk management, a process that involves identifying, assessing, and mitigating potential risks that may impact an organization's operations, reputation, or financial performance. Effective risk management is crucial for safeguarding the interests of stakeholders and ensuring business resilience. S is for science-based targets. These are crucial for driving climate action and ensuring that companies contribute to mitigating climate change. By setting targets grounded in science, companies demonstrate their commitment to sustainability and play a vital role in transitioning to a low-carbon economy. S is for SEDEX, which stands for Supplier Ethical Data Exchange. SEDEX is an organization that helps companies manage and improve ethical and responsible practices within their supply chains. It provides a platform for businesses to share and access information related to labor rights, health and safety, environmental impact, and business ethics. T is for transparency. Investors and regulators alike are demanding greater transparency from lenders on ESG performance of their portfolio businesses. In turn, this drives the requirement for credible data from businesses. Freedom of information legislation and cultural norms also drive the need for business to be more transparent in how they operate. T is for transition. Just transition is a concept that advocates for an equitable and inclusive transition to a low-carbon economy. Just Transition recognizes the need to protect workers and communities affected by the shift away from fossil fuels and ensure that the benefits of a sustainable economy are shared by all. T is for TCFD, which stands for Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosures. The TCFD is an initiative established by the Financial Stability Board to develop a framework for companies to disclose climate-related financial risks and opportunities. The framework encourages businesses to assess and disclose their climate-related risks and opportunities, providing investors and stakeholders with the information needed to make informed decisions. The TCFD framework consists of four key areas, governance, strategy, risk management, and metrics and targets. By implementing the TCFD recommendations, companies can enhance transparency and demonstrate their commitment to addressing climate change and building a resilient and sustainable future. T is also for TNFD, which stands for Task Force on Nature-Related Financial Disclosures. Similar to the TCFD, the TNFD is a task force working to develop a framework that enables companies to disclose and manage nature-related financial risks and opportunities. TNFD aims to promote the integration of nature into financial decision-making, highlighting the importance of biodiversity and ecosystem services. U is for underwriting criteria, the guidelines used by insurers and financial institutions to assess risks and determine the terms and conditions of insurance or financing. 
By incorporating ESG factors into underwriting criteria, companies can encourage sustainable practices and investments. V is for voting, an important aspect of corporate governance. Shareholders have the right to vote on matters that affect a company, such as the appointment of directors, executive compensation, and major corporate decisions. Voting allows shareholders to exercise their influence and hold companies accountable for their ESG practices. V is also for vision, which refers to a company's long-term aspirations and goals. A clear and compelling vision that integrates ESG considerations helps guide decision-making, drive innovation, and create a sense of purpose within an organization. W is for water efficiency, focusing on the responsible and sustainable use of water resources. Water efficiency measures aim to minimize water consumption, reduce waste, and enhance water management practices in order to mitigate water scarcity and protect ecosystems. W is also for whistleblowing, the act of reporting illegal, unethical, or improper activities within an organization. Whistleblowers play a crucial role in exposing wrongdoing, promoting transparency, and protecting the interests of stakeholders. Whistleblowing mechanisms help create a culture of accountability and integrity. W is for waste reduction, which is a critical component of sustainable practices. Waste reduction involves minimizing the generation of waste, promoting recycling and reuse, and adopting sustainable waste management strategies. By reducing waste, we can conserve natural resources, reduce environmental pollution, and move towards a circular economy. Waste reduction can be achieved through various strategies. Companies can implement recycling programs, promote source reduction by using less packaging or materials, and encourage the adoption of sustainable practices throughout the product life cycle. Additionally, consumers can play a crucial role by making conscious choices, such as purchasing products with minimal packaging and properly recycling or reusing items. Waste reduction is not only beneficial for the environment but also for businesses. By minimizing waste generation, companies can reduce costs associated with waste disposal, improve operational efficiency, and enhance their reputation as environmentally responsible organizations. X is for exit strategy. A plan that outlines how an investor or company will divest from a particular investment or business venture. In the context of ESG, an exit strategy may involve divesting from companies that do not align with sustainable practices or transitioning to more sustainable alternatives. Y is for youth, representing the younger generation who have a crucial role to play in shaping the future of sustainability. Youth engagement and participation in ESG initiatives, activism, and decision-making processes are vital for driving positive change and ensuring a sustainable future. Z is for zero emissions, the holy grail of sustainability. Zero emissions means eliminating greenhouse gas emissions from human activities, such as energy production, transportation, and industrial processes. Achieving zero emissions is a significant goal in the fight against climate change and requires a combination of renewable energy, energy efficiency, and sustainable practices. Have you found the key to unlocking it yet? We hope you enjoyed this A to Z of ESG. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks, and see you next time for another video from the Sustainable Construction Zone channel.